right. Start broadcasting. You. Yo. Welcome to the stream, guys. Just doing the usual house cleaning that I usually do before I start the stream. Yeah. I don't know how you guys got the notification and I can't find my stream live. Okay. There we go. Let me get in here. We just get in here and take care of a few other things and we'll start this apologies for the usual delays what's good Andre what's good shadow how you guys doing today Making sure I share this around in the right places so everyone knows what's going on. Right here, bro. Sober. Sober on a Saturday? Keep it up, yo. Thank you, thank you. Alright, just gotta push this into WhatsApp. And we'll be fine. done sorry about the delays again guys all right it's been forwarded over okay so we can start now I had some notes that I took before I started the stream because I wanted to make sure I'm providing everything properly to you guys my notepad blank all right good all right so scorpion generally I would consider him to be more of a footsie character he has a lot of long-range normals that can hit from very interesting portions on the screen and for as far as they go they have pretty good startup the trade-off is that these attacks are usually unsafe on block there are ways to mitigate that but I'll show that later on so let's get into his universal normals. The first universal normal I want to talk about is his down poke. It's his down one. It's seven frames, 13 frames of hit advantage. And yeah, that's about it. It's decent as far as where it goes. I think down three has a bit more range, a little bit more range. And it's plus 15 for one more frame of startup. So it's up to you to decide which one you want to use. They're interchangeable for the most part. Um, and usually what you get off that is a follow-up so uh, in the aftermath update as I was showing in the Sub-Zero tutorial if you're new here I'll show you again there's something in the game called jailing right it's been in since the original inception of the game but the problem with jailing is in the older version is that it's really hard to do it was like a, a one frame or two frame window so they've extended the time for it uh crouch duck there we go so as you can see scorpions ducking right and if i do one i do two i do three i do four all of them go over his head but if i jab you or i hit you with a, with the uh or if i hit you with this it basically forces you to stand up 
So with the hit advantage that's there and the amount of time it takes to start up these normals, the jailing of property allows you to do things like this. See how he had to block that standing? I'll turn off block. See how he takes the hit there? Even if he mashes a button like he's mashing down two here, he has to take it. You can see I'm mashing down two here. See from the triangles over there in the corner? He can't do anything about that. He has to respect the normal. The trade-off for these moves is that they're actually not plus on block. So if you hit one and you go for another one, as you can see, the move is negative six. So it's your opponent's turn to do what they want. A lot of people disregard this and don't find it very important, but you should pay attention to that fact right there because that could be the difference between you getting hit by a full combo or you keeping your turn or having some health on the table. And again guys, if you have any questions as we're going through this, feel free to ask me. Okay. So we did down one, we did down three. The other difference between down one and down three is that down three is a low, whereas down one is a mid. Uh, that comes into play sometimes, and since this is longer, you can check with this for a bit further. Do stuff like that, unblock. Uh, we'll get into that when we cover the unique normal section. But yeah, that is something that's possible. The other unique normal that I think is important for Scorpion is his down 4. Down 4 has a ton of range. It's 11 frames of start up and it has 15 frames of hit advantage. So you can, so if this went any further, you can do stuff like that. But it's still a good check to push the opponent back and, you know, tell them get off me. The cool thing about your down four yeah so the cool thing about your down four is that if you do down four even on block and you well, all the all the pokes all the universal pokes are negative right so if you're doing that and say you want to get out of the situation you don't want you don't want to deal with them pressing down one back on your advantage you can actually cancel into teleport and trick the opponent this is also variation specific, so when we get up, get to the loadouts portion of the tutorial, I'll tell you more about that. But this is generally what you do with Scorpion. You can poke, you can poke, teleport, and run away. So it resets him back in an area where he wants to play the game. I think he generally wants to hang out around this area because he can react to any of the slower buttons and then punish with back one or punish with forward three. But we'll get more into that when it's time for us to get into that. But yeah, down 4 is basically another non-committal poke. It puts him really low to the floor. You can crouch under projectiles with this and still hit the opponent. See? So you can you can do stuff like this and not really have to guess. Oh, why do I have it on human? But yeah, that's the general application of this move. You can dash after it if they, if they, if you hit, yeah, you can dash after it if you hit the move normally. And that you should still be at advantage there. So you can dash here and try to close the gap. Or just walk forward a little bit and pay attention to what they do. But normally people try to like, um, how would I describe it? They usually just take the dash and then go for a strike throw mix up there. Uh, he has one more unique norm. He has one more universal normal, and that's the down two. Uh, let's see. Let's take this off. Let's stand him up again. This is basically an anti air. I think all the down twos in this game anti air. So if we go back to record. You can do stuff like that off of it. And if you hit high enough with it, you can combo off of it. But I'm not really good at it. I'm really not good at it. So I don't practice it as much as I should. 
I think it's a height dependent thing. But yeah, you can combo off that. That's more of an advanced scorpion tech thing. So it's up to you to decide if you want to do that or not. Let's see. Let's go back to custom. That would cover his unique normals. I mean, that would cover his universal normals. Let's get into the unique ones. A lot of his unique normals have strings attached to them that make them really good. But we'll just go over the basics of what the moves do for, for now. So to start, he has his back one. Back one has a ton of range. Look at this, this is still hitting. It's still hitting. It's 14 frames of startup, and it's basically the first building block to his hit confirms. Um, his hit confirm being back one two. This is a very useful tool and when we get into combos and other stuff like that, I'll start talking about it. But essentially what you use the back one for is to play footsies. Say the opponent, again I'm going to put the AI to record here. Say the opponents play footsies with me and they, they whiff this button, right? You can do something like that. Just from them whiffing the button. It's also really good to press with, and I'll explain further when we get into special moves. But this that's the, the main idea behind the move. And that's basically how I use it as well. It's just something to like scout for what they're doing, and it's a fast way to, to hit the opponent and keep them into stuff. It's also, like I said before, good off of the down one or the down three. If you do those, you can do back one here, but there are other normals that may occupy that space as well. So, the second normal I want to talk about that's unique is his forward three. If you played this game any at all online, and you played against any scorpions, you'll know that his forward three is kind of ridiculous. Forward three is good because it forces the opponent into a strike throw mix-up, and it also forces the opponent into what we call stagger pressure. Again, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, feel why free to ask. Why is it freezing though? Yo, I don't have any idea why it's that cold. But yeah, if you have any questions about what I'm saying, feel free to ask as I'm making the tutorial and I'll answer it right on the spot there. So yeah, forward three. It leads to what we call stagger pressure because forward three has a extension to it in forward three four. This knocks down and it sets them across the screen but it also has a crushing blow link to it if the move hits on counter or is punished or is a punish hit. That's a crushing blow. By itself it does 16%. I don't know if that's different. Is that different? Yeah, it does about 5% more. 4 or 5% more. But the really important thing about it is that it actually makes the move special cancelable. So I'll show you the 4 and 3, 4 and I'll try to do teleport after it. If you look in the leftmost corner of the screen, you can see the inputs are there for the teleport, but it didn't come out. I'll show you again with a crushing blow. You can actually cancel this move if you hit the crushing blow. So what a lot of Scorpion players do is they'll do the first hit of this and then do standing one, or they'll do the first hit of this into itself and force you into a situation where you have to guess. Another really good tactic to do with this move would be forward, forward 3 into standing 2-1 because standing 2-1 is plus on block. When we get to scorpion strings, we'll talk about it a bit more, but that's the basic utility behind his forward 3. It also goes a bit further than his... Um, it goes a bit further than his back 1, so I'm going to walk back a little bit. And it is 1 frame faster at the cost of it only being able to special cancel once. Okay, so what's the other, that's the next normal that I have written down here. Okay, forward four. This is another really good stagger pressure tool. Uh, what you do with forward four essentially is you mix up between forward four two and doing forward four and throw. Forward 4 by itself is kind of hard to tell if they're going to go into the next hit 
as you can see, you, ju you the only indication you have is when he raises his hand and stabs you in the head with the sword. But you can mix up between the two. The issue with this normal, it has the same problem as I would say uh, back one, in the fact that it's full combo punishable. So you can see it's this is the back one is negative fourteen, and forward three is in the same. Oh, this is a low one. I have it on stand. Sorry about that. This is negative seven. So they have one frame to punish with a down one, which is really tight. So there's almost no reason to really poke back here. You don't get anything off of it. You can steal your turn back with like high normals that hit confirm or other things of the sort. But generally, what's going to happen is they're going to block. They're still there. You can throw them. And just with the, 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 the uh, forward three, you can set up 2-1 here as well. And as you can see in the lower left corner, this is plus two on block. I'll explain what you can do with that later on when we get to strings. But I'm just showing you the basic application of what the moves are good for. So you can let them block. They stand up. You do that. They block. They do this. They get tired of blocking that. So you hit them with the overhead. Since we're talking about it now, I should tell you guys that the overhead is also special cancelable. So it's a low overhead string. That is cancelable. Leads to stuff like that. And yeah, 40% because you decided not to block. The best part about these is that they also count as hit confirmable normals. Well, with the additional strings added to them. But we'll get into that in a little bit when we start talking about the combos and stuff. So, we talked about back one, we've talked about forward four, we've talked about forward three. The only other noteworthy unique normal that I think Scorpion has is his sweep. He and Sub-Zero share this weird space where if they want to do something, like if they want to poke back, sometimes they don't end up using their uh, advancing normals because as you can see, Scorpion's body ducks forward and he takes a step in when he's doing that normal. And Scorpion's leg is extended when he does that one. Same story, different day with the forward three. I mean the forward four. So what some players will do if they're trying to stop someone from advancing or some, they know someone's going to approach with a high option is they'll mix up between doing down four and if they want to continue pressuring, they'll do back four. So on back four, you can do stuff like this. Get a throw there if they block. You're, you should be blocking that. Or if there's somebody that likes to use the wake up system, you could actually just, you know, get them to not block the situation. You could just do whatever you feel like there. I think that's all for his unique normals. We can move on to his strings now. Which is really where Scorpion opens up as a character in my opinion. After that we'll talk about his specials and then we'll go to his uh, loadout and I'll explain some of what his loadout does and then we'll do some towers so I can get you guys into some combos and things like that. For strings, right? Scorpion has his 1-1 one -one string. This is a really good string because it does what we call auto shimmy. Uh, to explain what an auto shimmy is, again, ducking is really strong in this game because highs will miss when you duck and a lot of people do something known as micro ducking where they just press the button for a little bit and they, they just hold it like that so that the first part of the normal goes down. So if I set Scorpion to do something like, I don't know. Where is rolled record? All right. So I set him to walk up. You can actually micro duck this, but it's really hard. Punish. 30% just from that micro duck because I didn't want to guess. It's also good against throws.
uh, yeah, you can see it has its uses as far as what you can do in terms of the micro ducking. What the way we beat micro ducking is basically if the opponent is using it, you start using strings like one one because the first hit of the string still goes high, so they stand up, and the second hit of the string is a mid. So even if they stay crouching waiting for you to finish the throw animation or to see if you're just going to do that one normal, you're going to hit them for it. Let me put him back into crouch. See? So he's still ducking, but I hit him for it. And I can finish the string and knock him down. But essentially we just use the first hit off that string and take the frame advantage from it. So you're plus 15 off that string there, so which means that I can do stuff like this, into this, hit confirm, go into that. Now that we're here, I can start talking about back one, back one four. Back one four is not safe on block. That's the first thing I want to tell you guys. So again, if you're looking in the lower left corner of the screen, you're going to see me do the back one four after this. That is full combo punishable. It's negative 16. He's stuck in that for an eternity. What a lot of Scorpion players do depending on what variation they're playing, or if they're playing with the teleport cancel, is they'll do the string and they'll go back here. I think this is the ideal range to play a Scorpion because if the opponent starts walking up, you can check them with down four and push them back and frustrate them. Or if they start walking forward and they do a normal, you can whip punish the normal with this or with this. And since we're on the topic of strings, we were talking about forward three, right? As you can see, forward three is only negative two on block, so it's very safe. The good thing about this move is that you can do this into the uh, standing one if they hold block. So if I keep him on stance hold here, I can do standing one here. I can do standing three here. Standing three makes him plus two on uh, plus three on hit which means that I can walk back this is technically three frames faster this comes out in ten frames technically you have to react really quickly to that move to determine what the next plan of action for yourself is and the best part about scorpion is that this actually enforces more of his mixed up game so if I do forward four and I do two one here right this is plus two, it pushes him back. I can start walking back here, do back one. I can press forward four and reset the situation. So I can do something like this. You can do things like that with the string. Getting back to back one here, because there is something I should mention. If you're not playing with the teleport, if you're not playing with this variation, you're gonna have to learn how to hit confirm from these two part, these two parts here raw and decide if you're going to do the teleport on hit and meter burn it or if you're going to do back one four three which is negative five on block which is way better than the previous situation you can actually steal turns with this you can do down one here if they're if they if they if there's someone that wants to strike high after this say they do this and they respond by pressing standing one or they respond by pressing standing two, since that's a high, you can press down one here, jail them, and then go for whatever afterwards. Okay, forward four. We already spoke about this. This is another stagger string. So it ends in an overhead. As you can see, Scorpion is forced to block. And you can get combos off of this. It's a low into overhead, and you can combo off it basically that's the whole idea behind the string the mix-ups for it are the same as standing four you but because they know an overhead is coming you can catch them a lot of the time by doing this into itself so you can do forward four into forward four and you possibly will hit them because they're expecting the overhead if they're not if you're trying to keep advantage you can do two one for a hit confirm here Leaves you at plus two, you can start walking back and doing stuff, you can start poking after that. Do whatever you feel like, go crazy here. That's the best part about Scorpion, It'll, he allows you to freestyle a lot of the time. 
Ah, uh, let's see. This has an extension on the string with three. The extension, as far as I can remember, is combo punishable. I could be wrong. Let me check that. Set him to block all. He's minus eight, so you have a very tight window to punish. It's most advised that you press down one here. And if you get it, you get it. If you don't, don't knock yourself out about it. It's no big deal. But yeah, that's the idea behind Scorpion. To keep himself safe, he has to do stuff like that. If you're not playing with the teleport cancel. Again, we'll get into that when we get into strings. So let's set Scorpion to stand. And we'll set Scorpion to random combo block. I want to talk about 2-1. As I explained before in the Sub-Zero video, it's very important to learn how to hit confirm in this game. And I would say that 2-1 is Scorpion's best high hit confirm. It starts really fast at 9 frames. Uh, the second hit of the move is plus on block. So you don't lose anything per se by doing this portion of the string. Like, you can throw this out there knowing that they'll more than likely block the second part. But if I'm not mistaken, this has a flawless block gap. I'm not 100% certain, but if it is possible that that does exist. The idea behind a hit confirm is it's a set of moves that you can do to check to see if your opponent blocked. And if they didn't block, you can do the move that's normally unsafe. So yeah, that's the idea behind it. See, so if I did that at negative 14, he could just do this to me. You can do stuff like that to me and I, I, I'd have to eat the entire combo just because I decided I didn't want to block there. So yeah, that's the idea behind the hit confirm. The way how Scorpion's unsafe normals work as a hit confirm, like the like this one here, they're both very slow normal, so you can see if it hits. And if it does, you go for your combo. Right? This combo is a little hard to do. When we get into combos, I'll show you an easier one. He's not blocking. You can see he blocked there, so I would have been punished for that. But he blocked again here. If I do the cancel, I'm all the way over here and I'm negative 14. So there's not really any moves that he can do that will punish me for being at that range. It resets the situation at the cost of one defensive meter. And if I try again and I get the hit, I can spend the offensive bar to score a combo here, dash up. And that's how that works from there. So now that we're at understand how scorpions normals work we can start talking about other things for example how to utilize scorpions normals right i've already explained how to do certain things how like um a stagger pressure character and a footsie character I said before generally to mix up how you're playing with these normals that have low advantage low like uh disadvantage to them you condition them with these normals here i hit confirm to see what happens first and when you've confirmed when you've taught your opponent a pattern and you've conditioned them to believe that this is all they have to expect you start opening them up with throws you start opening them up with the extension of the ring of the string you start opening them up with doing stuff like this which they'll get tired of because this is retarded fast So yeah, that's the idea. You can do something like press this, walk back, go into your string. And after you've went into that string, you could actually probably hit them because they do this. They'll wait for you to do something. They'll react to that latent down one. You can see the down one hit and then go for your punish there. That's the main way that I play Scorpion and the main way I advise playing him. Um, 
Outside of that, we should talk about four and three. As I said before, this string works the same way as forward four. It sets the opponent up for strike throw mix-ups. If they don't block, you're still in range for other normal. But if they do block, like this, you could actually go for a 2-1 string here. Or you can go forward, this, into that. Forward, they block, I'm gonna throw you now. Yeah, that's the general idea there. That's the general idea there. And when they get tired of that situation, if you haven't used the uh, crushing blow on punish yet, you can start going for this. Teleport. Score a clean hit there. And basically hit them for about almost 50%. That's the general idea behind how you play this variation of Scorpion, or any variation of Scorpion really. You want to enforce them to guess between the ending of this string and if you're going to do this string. You also want to keep them guessing on if you're going to finish this string if you're not playing with the teleport cancel. If you are, you don't have to add that layer, but it is good to have just in case as, a, as an extending mix up. From there, we can go into Scorpion's combos, which I basically showed you the general idea behind them already. The strings normally go into forward four, and you end with the spear. Actually, let's talk about his specials, right? And there is one more unique normal that we can talk about when we get into combos. But yeah, let's get into specials. So, I only play with two Scorpion specials. That would be the Spear and his Teleport. The Spear has a crushing blow if you meter burn it across the screen. So yeah, that's how that works. You can do Spear. Four. Hold on, I gotta get used to that a little bit. You do something like that for some easy damage. Um. Also, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to other combos. But yeah, that's the idea behind the spear. You use it as a projectile, and you decide if you want to meter burn it or not. If you hit, you burn the bar. And decide how you want to extend the combo from there. But it always um, connects in that manner. Say you've also done a combo already, and you've launched the opponent. So say you did something like this. Hold on, let me turn that off. You can hit them for that, or you can spend the bar. And do something like that. Put them in a restand situation where they have to block and respect the rest of the string. So you could do cheeky stuff like restand them. And the combo like that. You've done almost 25%. You're plus 6. And you're in range for this normal, so you can start pressuring them with forward 3. And putting them back in that situation. It's up to you to decide how you want to play Scorpion like that. Well, in that fashion. But generally, I go more for the knockdown stuff. It's up to you though. So you could play um, and get the knockdown. Or you can restand them. The other special we should talk about is his teleport. This is really good because it's his only anti zoning tool. So if the other scorpion decides to sit at the other end of the screen, right? And he's just throwing spears. All day, right? And he's just walking back. You want to get closer. But you don't want to risk it. You could actually just teleport on the spears. And you're in. If you read that that's what he's going for, you can just teleport. 
You could also duck it and react. As you can see, that's still a punish. Yeah, so you can do stuff like that on punish and stop the opponent from just throwing spears at you. This goes for any projectile. The timing in which you're going to have to pick. Let me cut that off so you guys don't get annoyed by the sound of the spear. But yeah, the timing in which you're going to have to teleport and where you can react to things with the teleport is going to change depending on the projectile since some of them are faster than the others and some of them record re recover faster than others. But the general idea is that you're going to use the spear to create those kind of scenarios for yourself. Where basically you are... I mean the, the teleport is where you're going to create scenarios where they don't want to press or they don't want to create room for Scorpion, you know? They're not going to throw a projectile at you because they're going to be like, oh well he's just going to teleport. Now I'm getting thrown. Now he's throw looping me. Now he's doing weird crap to me. And I don't like that Scorpion's on top of me, so I'm not gonna throw the projectile. So they're gonna start walking towards you, or jumping towards you, and stuff like that. When that situation comes up for yourself, that's when you start utilizing the other moves, like the back one, the forward three, the forward four, which I did in the wrong order, but anyway. But yeah, those are the only specials I use for him. Outside of that, I use, um... The Searing Rage special, because there are some situations where Scorpion can't punish things, and without Searing Rage, well, there are situations where Scorpion can't punish things, and Searing Rage fixes those. Maybe if we get to do an advanced section for the guide, I'll get around to explaining what those moves in those situations are. But for now, I think it's fine just being those two interactions there. So yeah, you can also end combos with Searing Rage. Sorry. Yeah, see, so you can end combos with Searing Rage, and it's supposed to keep them the same side that you switched them to. It depends as far as I know. Let me just see. Make sure. Why am I getting scared there? Anyway, the idea is... The idea is that you do Searing Rage to end your combos sometimes. Because as far as I remember... The meter burn for Searing Rage... Burns them a bit longer. So if you want to tack on some extra damage or just end it really cool or side switch, that's what it's good for. It's also good for punishing, and if you go the entire distance with it and grab them, that's what that does. Okay, so getting back to his combos, right? We talk, we spoke about his hit confirms. You're gonna wanna get used to doing 2-1. You're gonna wanna get used to doing 1-4. Uh, You're gonna wanna get used to doing 4-3, 4-2. Uh, and you're also going to want to get used to punishing stuff with 1-1. One, one. It'll be specific as to what you want to hit with that stuff. It's usually things that are like minus 9, minus 10. You know, things that you can't punish with this. But you'll know it when you see it. It'll come from you experimenting a bit. So you could do 1-1. One, one into that sort of stuff. But the combo I recommend that you guys go for would be 1-1 one, one, teleport into this. It's 25%, one bar, they're right in front of you, and you maintain the same side that you were on. So you can push them further to the corner. Like, how far are we from the corner? If I do this like two or three times, we shouldn't, yeah. If we keep doing that, I'll be, I'll have you in the corner in no time. So yeah, you could end combos and stuff like that, dash up, and condition them into situations where 
they have to block and guess if you're going to do the second normal or if you're going to do the second or if you're going to do a new strength or a poke or whatever the situation comes up to be so yeah that's how scorpion works as far as getting his combos 2-1 uh i mean 1-4 is important 4-2 is important uh forward three by itself is okay but i don't recommend it 2-1 and 1-1 one, one for punishes so again you hit confirm with this Hit confirm with this, and you hit confirm with this. This takes the most time to get used to, but when you get that timing, you'll be able to tell if you're a good or a great Scorpion player. Okay, so other important things to know as Scorpion. Let's talk about his anti-air game. Let's talk about that for a little bit. For those of you who don't know what an anti-air is, essentially it's when you intercept the opponent from jumping in. So as you can see, Scorpion is set to jump in and hit me here, right? But I can stop that with his standing one. And if I do it at the proper time... I can do something like that. So yeah, that's the importance of learning to anti-air with Scorpion, and that's the normal that you want to use. The combo you'd want to do, the easy one I'd say, would be standing one, standing four, you can go into spear, and like that, if you're not confident in doing anything else. Or you can do standing one, standing four, teleport, if you want more damage assist. Into four, into spear. It's a little bit trickier to do, because it's dependent on the height. Ah, it might not even be possible. You can always just do forward three and then do end it in spear like that. That's almost 30%. So yeah, it's pretty much whatever you fancy in those situations. Just always end with this. And if you're not confident in that, I recommend just going for the classic down two. Just meet him in the air and hit him with down two. If you're not good at that, just do jumping three. You can do stuff like that as well after jumping three. Just make sure you delay the, the hop kick. That's not a real combo. I just thought I'd show you guys that though. So yeah, this is why you delay the jumping three. Well, the uh, teleport. If you do it too early, he actually misses. So yeah, that's his anti-air game, let's play. And I think we've covered almost everything. Let's get into his crushing blows. Which, it's kind of weird talking about Scorpion's crushing blows. Normally, I would have crushing blows that do a whole bunch of crap. But Scorpion's ones are straightforward. I already showed you the spear one. You have to be across the screen and hit from hit spear from about here, I'd say. Maybe here. Let's turn off easy crushing blows. Let's turn that off to make sure we're doing this correctly. Let's turn that off. Okay, so that's not the range. That's the range. <laughs> As you can see, if you hit from this range around, around like here, if you hit a spear from here and you meter burn it, maybe it's further away. You can do stuff like that, score 20%, throw a loop, 
and that's his first crushing blow that you should know about. The second one we've already discussed, the, the uh, move has to hit on counter. So if I set Scorpion to reversal, reversal attack random, if he does throw afterwards, okay. And we set him to all block. As you can see, if I do that here, he's going to throw me. As you can see, he's going to throw me here, right? So, what you can do in this situation, we've already conditioned them, so we're going to do that. We can do these situations here, our standard stuff where we do forward three, go into two or whatever, and start conditioning out. Once you notice that they're starting to do something here, the key to making forward, four, forward three, four enforceable is the stuff we discussed before. So interacting with the opponent, paying attention to what option they pick, punishing them accordingly or whatever, right? Or forcing them to want to press buttons. Once they get that to that point, open them up. And again, this does 16, this does a hefty amount by itself and is special cancelable. But the window's a little funny, so practice this. I'm doing it too late, I think. Yep. That's the easy version of the combo right there. And the situation plays out something like that. Again, for those of you who might have just came into the stream, if you're wondering how to enforce that situation, I'm gonna set the CPU to auto. Actually, no, just turn off the reversal. We normally do it off of his standing three. They stand up, they do something like that. I'm negative two, I can still do certain things. He has to respect the chance of me auto shimmying him. Or we could do standing, one, standing two here, just one, one hit. That's plus three on hit. I mean, that's plus three on block, so. I can walk back, I can do down one, I can do this, I can do this again. Because they have to worry about me doing this portion of the string, which is still plus. So you could do something like this. And you're still plus, you push them back a little bit, you can start walking back. Conditioning them into normals. Practicing your hit confirming, seeing what they do at that point. So does anyone have any questions so far as how to play Scorpion goes or do you have anything you want to ask in, in terms of that? Feel free to ask me, I'll answer any questions that you have. Let's see. But yeah, so once you've established this game and you've harassed them enough to where they want to pump back but they can't because you're plus or you're putting them in situations where you're plus and you're doing stuff like that to run away and you're harassing them and they just want their turn and they decide hey I want to press a button here so we're gonna turn on back the reversal mode and he decides hey let me press a button here you make him pay for it that's the idea Oh, you thought that it was your turn? I'm sorry, I have an extension after this string. You need to respect that. But remember, that's only once per match that you get to do that. So, use it sparingly and try to con and try to pay attention to what the opponent's doing. And again, punish accordingly. His other crushing blows are on his throws. He has two of them. I can turn on easy crushing blows again because the gen the idea behind this crushing blow is pretty straightforward. Oh, I hate being blind. That's the AI. Almost there. Where is easy crushing blow? Why is it all the way up here? Okay. 30% off a throw. Wow. 
Why isn't he doing the forward throw? This does bleed damage. Let me show you. I think the AI is where I can change this one. Or is it practice? This one does bleeding damage. So look at his health bar. You can see it's ticking down over time there. So this is what makes Scorpion really, really scary. If you mess up a throw and you guess wrong, he could either get 30% off the next throw, or he can get damage over time. And the crazy And look at your health bar. You lost almost half your health for that. You lost almost half your health for that. The last crushing blow is the universal crushing blow. Everybody has this one. And that also is going to cover the last combo that I should show you with Scorpion. I'll also give you guys like a basic combo on what you should do. And then we'll get into like the uh, the other parts of Scorpion like his, his uh, death spear or whatever the hell you call the move. So let's take off the flawless block. Let's turn on the auto block again. He has the universal crushing blow. It's up to you to decide how you want to end that combo. But you always do forward four here. You always want to do forward four here. Because you can score a solid amount of damage. Look at that. That's 35%. I'm plus six, which means that I can do my forward three. Or my back one. My back one four. And I can continue to pressure the opponent afterwards. If you're not a fan of doing something like that, you could do uppercut. Does this work? I don't even know. I don't even know if that works, honestly. But I'm pretty sure he has a way to get into it, like, uh... Wow, that's too high. You have to wait. So yeah, long story short, just do four. If you guys want to spend two bars for whatsoever reason, like say it's time to end the round or something, you can do this. And score a neat little 43% combo there. Also, if you're interested in ending the combos, you can do stuff like that with Scorpion. It's a lot easier to do this instead, or something like that. That puts you pretty close, you can throw the opponent afterwards. If you're calling how you want to finish the combo at that point, you can actually reset them. So what you can do, is if you have the crushing blow, and you dash in, throw them, another free 30%. Pierce that part of the body, damage over time, force them to block, put them in that situation there. That's the whole idea. As you can see, that one interaction right at the beginning of the round, if we can somehow set that up, is almost all your health bar. And Scorpion still has crushing blows, which is like this one and this one. Twenty-five percent right there. You can just end the round by doing two uppercuts now. Literally. But that's a thing. Scorpion's uppercut is different than a lot of people ones, other other people ones. So you have to dash up in between it or walk forward a little bit to get it to connect. If you want to end the round like that. So yeah, that's basically the idea behind how we play Scorpion. And now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can get to the part that you guys want. We can go to towers.
Okay, so let's get into towers here. I guess we can do towers of time. Try to unlock something on the way. Let's do scorpions for 50k. Summon the tower. I'll try my best to show you every single thing that I just taught you within that tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me them. And after we finish the tower, I think that's a complete tutorial, so yeah. And for anyone that comes in and watches this later and gets to this point, Feel free to comment and ask me any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Round one, fight. You can see we are already established our meeting game here. She pressed the button there for us. I jail with that move, as you can see there. But yeah, this is the basic principle of how to play Scorpion. Fight. You can do, you can kick confirm off that. Really hard though. Confirmed off that one. I'm gonna throw her again. Game saved her, really. Anyway. So, yeah, let's see if we can hit all the brutalities on this run. Well, all the ones I have unlocked, anyway. A couple of friendships as well along the way. Okay then. Normal day? That's what it is. I'm gonna extend my combo here. Uh, okay, that's what you have, okay. He breaks away. I don't want to do anything too crazy here. I'm going to end the combo like this. We're across the screen. But we didn't have meter, so we couldn't get the crushing blow there. Round two, fight. Jax does the button. I don't confirm. There we go. That's really annoying. Okay. This is fine. There we go. There's number two. I have one on my throw as well that I know about. I think it's forward throw that he has the last one on. I don't remember what he does. I think he just she cuts you open. Round one, fight. But as you can see, all the building blocks that we put into play before are here. Why 
do you have that as well? So? Put me off? Okay. Okay. I tried to check her there. She didn't let me. Oh, why do you have everything? Really? Oh, Lord. Fine. Die. How do you have all these rockets and still lose? Oh my god, my combo! I'm gonna throw. Okay, okay, okay! Oh. Let's try to hit another one of those. Some dumb folks. She's not gonna do anything about him anyway. That's fine. Let me get it. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this round, aren't I? Oh my god, her ordinance! Yeah, yeah. Stupid freaking ordinance, man. I'm just trying to get my brutality. Stop it. Final round. Fight. Oh lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are these? What are these things? Let's finish the string. I'll take it. Do something unsafe. What? That wasn't the brutality? Don't you just hold the button? Oh, I had to land more throws, right? Whatever. I guess you guys get a friendship. It is what it is. I'll take it. I mean, we got a free teddy bear, so. Okay, how much did we get? That's fine. Some icons and all that good junk. Let's see. They want... Five fatalities with Scorpion, 250 soul gems, and they want a brutality. They want an extra brutality, so we should have got that one, but we'll get it in this tower. Well, this tower. Oh my god, they want a lot of soul fragments for this. Scorpion. They're not playing around. They want my money. These dudes really want my money out here. Damn. Tax collectors. <laughs> Hello, Tindell. Okay. Combo here. Get it with the throw. That's one throw already. Wow, that goes really far. Hit her with another throw. She's not. She's not contesting the throws, so I probably won't load up a brutal. 
I knew it. You musty little. There you go. My turn still. Oh, nice micro duck. Okay. 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 Leave me alone. Let me get that third throw. One more. There we go. You're not using that anyway. Okay, so that's all the brutalities I have. If you guys know about any other ones, let me know and I'll go for them this run. the online stuff he's just going crazy wow okay no he has ice bottle I don't remember how to do Scorpion's Fatality, so we're both gonna learn it here. All right, back down, down square. Fatality. Scorpion wins. Okay. We've got one more fatality to do. Okay, IGM won't show me it for free. Let's get off that really disturbing screen just in case somebody else comes into the stream and they're like, what the hell is this? Okay. 
What kind of place is this? It's, it's a crazy place, Rambo. What the hell happened to my... What is going on here? Why am I dying? Are you trying to push me? Whoa, that lasts really long. Am I gonna die? What the hell is the extra thing on the floor? Dude, are you kidding me? Round two, fight. Oh lord, this is annoying already. Wow, what is this? I just lost for doing nothing. I just lost for doing nothing. Fatality. What the hell is with Rambo's towers, man? I just lost for doing nothing. Whenever you do a special. Wait, so I gotta win without doing specials? Okay, I got. I, I bet I got you. I got you. I got this. You thanks. lost health. All right. Musty little. The special's worth it here. Oh lord, why did I lose that much health? Oh my god! All right, the special wasn't worth it there. Round two, fight. That's a mid. Cool. Good to know. It wasn't worth it. Woo! This is annoying. This is a really annoying tower. Nice micro duck, jackass. I don't like you. Are you happy with yourself? Cheating a man? Alright. What's the other one? Give me a second here. We came for all the fatalities. I'm going to deliver. Down, forward, back, back. Two. Down, forward, back. Okay, I'll do it the next round. I'll do it the next game. That was actually really annoying. I lost for doing nothing. If I hit him, he, he pretty much gets all the health that I lost. Well, I took from him. Hello, sir. I'm gonna start with that, if you don't mind. What the hell is on the floor? Where's my meter? Where's your meter?
I'm not saying that you can stay if you want to. I want my meter. There we go. Your flesh will melt. Round two. Fight. Is it far? You can trip guard that. Oh, I lost meter. Ooh. All right. This guy, he's just playing real lame, isn't he? Let me throw you. Let me hop out of this mess. Dude, really? Am I dead? I don't think so. Alright. I should have just down to... I know what to do now. I don't like this. I keep losing meter. There we go. I took too long to do the extension there. Stay in that. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't deserve me there. Oh my God, because I want to get out of the thing. What range? At what range though? Some mid range fatality, okay. Let's just try to get through these towers. It does, but I already don't like it. Are you costing me defensive meter? I don't have any meter again. Wow, oh, caught me off the active. This is really hard when Scorpion doesn't have meter. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose! I can't block that. I cannot block that. You cannot block that. Can I get my meter back, please? Why is he why is only he allowed to have meter? Stupid. Okay, so every time he hits me, that happens. Okay. As you can see, the down one, or oh, the standing one going into play here. I hit confirm that. I need to make sure he doesn't hit me with his hands. There we go. There goes our meter. 
that is really annoying. Well, he confirmed the super, uh, fatal blow there. Alright. One more round. One more round. Final round. Fight. Oh, okay, so only when he hits us with his hands. Dude, really? Oh my god! You have to take them for the whole game too? Oh lord. I hate this. He's combo breaking me with it. He kept combo breaking me with it. Uh, towers are weird, man. That's all I can say. Like, you could score as much as you want, but... Let me score some of that quick damage. Oh lord. And he gets to do things after. It stuns you for so long. Really? Dude, I really hate this thing. No. I'm really annoyed. Can you give me three? No, but he can do that. There we go, buddy. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Giving him stuff for free. We'll take it. If you want to miss the bicycle kick, I'm okay with that. I'll take the punish. Mid-range. Wow. Is that really the code? Or am I doing something wrong? That can't be the code. That cannot be the code. I don't believe it. Screw that tower. Scorpion. Oop, wrong variation. Whatever. So this tower is actually kind of brutal because Scorpion is very like meter dependent. He he really relies heavily on his meter to do things. Like all of his extensions are on that. In order for him to be safe, he needs to use that. So I think you could say that <laughs> that's one of his weaknesses. He's very meter dependent. There we go. Yeah. 
Jesus. She's really tried. Random X-ray, man. What's the plan? That's not a real X-ray. I mean, that's not a real fatality. There's no way that's a real fatality. Something is wrong in that input. Okay, sorcerer. Okay, sorcerer. Okay. The other way around. We gotta perform three of these. will be fine. I probably have to do that outside. Whoa, what the hell is this Cetrion skin? I forgot to mention teleport is error okay. I don't know how I forgot to mention that. Something's wrong with me.
it was the best time. Honestly, the best time. I mean, Satria knows she can't stay there against Scorpion, or else that might happen. Wow, reptile ball. And another reptile ball. Gotta die. I'm sorry. Or the should I by you? Round two. Fight. Really, my guy? Oh, Lord. Almost done here. Scorpion wins. Okay, so. How many brutals do we have to do and how many fatals are left? I think it's five and five. We did three of those. Probably like three and three or something. I'm probably gonna have to go to tower or something. Got some more new stuff. One more fatality. And we can't do the any of the old towers again. So what we do is Go one on one. Scorpion. Eh. Shao Kahn. Shang Tsung's island ruins. I just need one fatality anyway. All because some article lied to me on what the last damn thing was. Hello, sir. That's fine. It really is. Should have a bar back before the round starts, and if not, we can just chill out. Round two, 
fight. Down. Delayed his wake up this time. Really? There we go. Fatality. Scorpion wins. All right. We can go back to towers now. Try to finish this stuff up. We can get the other brutalities along the way, so it doesn't really matter. For future installments, I'm going to try to do that in one take. And if I can't get everything in one take, then I'm going to instill a punishment on myself. didn't count? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. So what do you want me to go then? Survival usually works. Do the baby tower. Hello. Spin out. That's fine. You, that doesn't hit. Wow, she had one over there. Goodbye. And thank you. Or whoever said nice. Fatality. Scorpion wins. Let's get back into doing things again if you guys have any questions as far as the uh, tutorial content goes I'm willing to answer anything I just need to quickly get through these stuff here so that I can get back to doing the tower that I'm supposed to be doing I'm probably not going to do the Kronika fight if I can skip it I will
Were you blocked? Okay, no problem. Round two, fight. I still want to know what the other fatality is, like how to do it. I don't know why they didn't give me. Sandel again. Take those. Wow, I killed that. Okay. One more. Of course, it's wake up freaking fatal blow. It doesn't matter, you're still dead. It doesn't give you any offense or anything like that, so I don't really care. Jeez, if you do that, I have all my meter, I don't really care. Do something. Besides that, that's really annoying. Hmm. Anyway, she's dead now. I just, I just want to do one. I, I don't even know if the fatality counts. I hope it does. Problem is, you can't go back into the tower and do it. Round one, fight. Okay, that didn't throw her. You can press buttons all you want, baby. They're still in range. Round two, fight. We take those. Okay, whatever. That's what I was doing, but whatever. It doesn't want to give me it, that's fine. 
I got a problem. I probably should do some more brutality. Fatality. Probably should try to do two. Scorpion wins. Or not. Or it could just be Kronika. No big deal. I'm not doing your fight yet. We're saving your fight for last. Gonna make sure that my tower is unlocked. One of those should have count though. One of those fatalities should have counted. I don't think you have to complete towers for that to count. So we gotta go for brutalities here again. Scorpion. Which means somebody's head's coming off. Or somebody's getting gutted in half or something. Almost done. Hello, Shiva. You're not a very favorite character of mine. Get up. that that works like that. Oh, that was it. Okay. I'll be more mindful next time. That was it, though. Is that necessary? What the hell? What is Gyrus doing? Oh my god. This is actually annoying. Come here. I don't like this character. Oh my god! What out of here? Gear escape and throws. Jesus. I fear no sorcery. Round two. Fight. I think you try to interrupt there. Really? I, I can't say I'm surprised. I can't say I'm surprised. I am playing against a computer. 
Alright, so we gotta do one more. Just one more brutality and we're good. this character either. Fuck a little extra damage on there. As you can see, the turn stealing. What I'm doing there with the forward three, I hit down one, he blocked because he probably thought I was going to do something. Well, in a normal situation against a regular person, that's how it works. Round two, fight. That's what you get. Whatever. Whatever. I totally hit that move and then I did the extension and the game's like, nah, you didn't do no extension, bro. It's a lie. I should have just comboed into it. I'm gonna punch Shao Kahn's head off. I'm calling it now. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm speaking it into existence. I'm going to punch his head off. I like this skin. Ooh, of course it's random fatal blow. It's always random fatal blow. Really, and the air hammer afterwards. Not blocking. Do you do something after that? Okay, it's a high. Don't. Don't think I'm not gonna knock your head off, my guy. I'm sure he has more brutalities, but I have to go unlock them. We could probably make that a challenge at some point in time or not. I 
Thanks for the free throw. Now they can't say I don't, I don't have enough. Something tells me this is going to be a really annoying Sub-Zero Tower. What do they want me to do here though? Scorpion. Whatever it is, it's not important. Oh my god, he's just pressing. It's not my turn. He's doing all the cheeky shit. Come on, fatal blow, come back. There we go. I'll take it. Round two. Fight. I'm already a nuisance, my guy. Why don't you keep doing fuck for two? Keep the ice ball, that's not safe. Oh wow, so if you stay there long enough, he freezes you. Oh. That's so dumb that you can't do it then. That's so dumb that you need to combo into it, or else they don't give you it raw. That's that's kind of lame. That was not your last tower. Their last tower is not Kronika? That's wild. I could have showed I could have did the Kronika fight then. Whatever. Let's see what we unlocked and then we can talk about um how I make Scorpion. Characters.
So this is my Scorpion loadout. It's Demon Dash and the Hellport Cancel. As I explained before, the Hellport Cancel is really important for Scorpion because it allows him to pretty much keep himself safe on strings that he'd be pretty much combo punishable on. It changes the way how Scorpion hit confirms things and it gives him a bit more ease of play. If you guys can learn how to do the teleport cancels which are forward or down as you can see on the screen, it'll help you incredibly with like constantly keeping pressure, harassing the opponent and playing a good hit and run style for Scorpion where even if you guess wrong and you hit them on block with like a back one, you can still do things. Demon Dash is also pretty good because Demon Dash allows you to um, end combos and in most instances keep the same side depending on how you do the ender. It's not really that big of a deal depending on what you're doing but it's something that you might want to consider if you know if you're say you don't want to end the combo in spear and you're far enough to make the demon dash work like that. It's also good as a 12 frame punish single hit punish for certain moves. Uh, Ear Demon Slime is something that other people use. I don't really use it often, but if you're not going to play the Demon Dash, it would be the second one that I recommend. You can anti-air people with this. You can also do like a kick into it and cancel the kick into that and end it with that for damage. This is also another ender for some combos for Scorpion, depending on what you do in terms of the combo. If you're doing like a jump kick after you do teleport, you can use that. Uh, I don't use Misery Blade. Maybe some other time I'll cover it. I don't really do anything with it but the other one that I want to talk about is the death spin is this the special yeah this is what some scorpion players use to keep themselves safe against certain characters it works perfectly against other characters it's not that great death spear combo also exists uh, death spear combo is it the death spear combo there's another one here that uh, he gets probably just the death spin and it also, I think that this also adds other things to him as well. But yeah, some people use a death spear combo here. The death spear combo basically is how other people end stuff. It gives Scorpion pretty solid damage. If you've seen any Raptor videos, you'll you'll see where uh, what I'm talking about. I'll probably leave that in the description. But yeah, the other variation that has this sort of stuff on it, I think it's over here that I have this. No, this is basically the ba the regular scorpion stuff. I don't have it, but there's one of the variations that creates a scenario where scorpion can do forward three into an overhead. And it makes it so that forward it conditions the opponent more at the cost of hit confirming. But yeah, that's the idea behind his stuff. And I would recommend Hellport Cancel or the... Uh, Misery Blade. Either of those two really work well for Scorpion. Um, I think that's about it for tonight's stream and the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for coming in. Peace out.